Have you ever wanted to make a video that looked older than Jesus? It's a great effect to have on your tool bag when you want to add some artistic flair. So I'm going to show you how to make a vintage film look like the pros using PowerDirector 365. If you want to make a basic vintage film look using PowerDirector, it's pretty easy to do. As you can see, I already have a clip in the timeline. If you go to effects, you'll go to video effects. And then you want to go to retro. Here you'll find an effect called old movie. Hold down your left mouse button on the effect and drag it down to your clip. Let it go. And it's applied. If you want to tweak any of the effects, it's pretty easy to do. Just click on this uh, customize effects button here. And then you can change up stuff how you want to. You play it back, looks pretty good. It's all good, you know, no big problems with it or anything like that if that's what you want to go with. But as you know, your PD professor likes to do effects with gusto. So I'm going to show you how to do it with PowerDirector 365. So we're going to delete this effect by clicking on the trash bin here. And we're going to go ahead and go to media. And we'll start from scratch. We're going to start off by changing the clip to black and white. So we're going to left click on this clip. We're going to go to edit. We're going to make sure that we're on the video tab. And then we're going to go to color. Here you want to go ahead and go to the color adjustment section. And you want to go to saturation, hold down your left mouse over the slider and drag it all the way down to zero. And now we got some black and white happening on the screen. So we'll close this out. Next, I'm about to make this video filthy. Get your mind out the gutter, PD peeps. Get your mind out the gutter. I'm going to add film damage. So we're going to go back to effects. This time we're going to go to third party. This is available if you have PowerDirector 365. If you don't, you won't have these options here unless you pay for it yourself. Now, under this section, we want to go to Boris Effects Film Style. And there is an effect called BCC Film Damage. Hold down your left mouse button over the effect and drag it down to the clip. Next, we want to tweak these settings. So once again, we're going to click on this Customize the Effect button. And the first thing that we want to do is change the color. So we want to leave color on, but I don't like this tint of yellow. I want to make it a little bit darker. So if you left click on the color, you can change it to whatever color you want. You can lose, use the slider to drag it to a different shade. I'm just going to type in the amount that I want because I know exactly what I want it to be. And hit enter. Now I'm going to hit OK. Next, we want shake to be on. So I'm going to click on shake because, you know, old movies were shaky. It was a little shaky, a little shaky. Uh, you can change the parameters to whatever you want here. I'm going to change the shake X to five. I'm going to change the shake Y to five. And I'm going to change the shake speed down to 10. Next, we want to scroll down to the bottom here. And for dirt, it says that it's kind of dirty because it has dirt on, but I don't want mine to be that dirty. So I'm going to uncheck dirt on. And then we want to go down to scratches. We're going to leave scratches on, but we're going to change the scratch width. Uh, we're going to change it and just make it as some thick scratches. We're, they're going to be real thick. We're going to make it 200. Hit enter. And now we're going to close this. And I'm going to close third party tools here. If you're finding this tutorial useful, like this video, subscribe to Power Director University, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my tutorials and live streams. Next thing that you want to do is skip to my loop. Because you know old movies used to skip around and stuff like that. So make sure that you're on the effects tab. I'm going to go back to video effects. And we're going to go to motion 
there is an effect called skip. We're going to hold on our left mouse button. We're going to drag it down to the clip. And now you want to tweak your settings here for skip as well. So we're going to left click on customize the effect. We've got to make sure that we select skip up here at the top. And we're going to change our frequency to three. We'll hit enter and we'll close this out. Next, you have to change the speed because everything in vintage films was sped up for some unknown reason. Everything seemed like it was moving faster in real life. So you want to left click on your video clip just to make sure that it's selected. And then you can click on change the speed. And for your speed multiplier, we're going to change that to 1.5. So we want it to go like one and a half times the regular speed. We'll hit enter. We'll close this out. If you want to use another one of the Boris FX third party plugins to actually sexify your videos, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe for more Power Director love. See you next time.